Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. In my last video, I promised you that I will get the second part of that manual invoice processing case study. So in this video, we are going to talk about the second part of the manual invoice processing case study. In the previous case study, we are already aware that there is a multinational organization where thousands of invoices are processed daily. But because of some system constraints, there were some cases where order management team requires a manual invoice creation. And the accounting team then has to create those manual invoices. The problem that we resolved in the last video was that they were taking so much time to create those manual invoices. In this video, we are going to learn there were some errors also which they were creating while processing those manual invoices. So the team wanted to reduce this error count. The goal that they took was to increase the accuracy of manual invoice processing from 85% to 99.5% and they took the goal to reduce it by February 2023. Rest of the project charter has been explained earlier in my previous video. But for some viewers who are watching this video the first time, I should tell you there are six elements of a project charter in which the first one is the background of the business which is a business case then you have to write down the problem statement the goal statement the scope of the project the project timelines and the project team so because this was a cross-functional project so a cross-functional team was created there were people from different departments which were included as team members in this team the project sponsor was vice president finance the project champion was avp finance project owner was manager finance mentor is i'm writing my name here and the team members are a b and c the next thing the team did was to identify the potential access to the problem so the potential access to low accuracy some of them were incorrect inputs from sales representatives knowledge gap of the associates who were processing those invoices the process was lengthy and it was manual. There were too many changes in the process every month which was leading to these errors. And it was a tedious manual reconciliation process. In the method, it was not documented for all types of invoices. There were some IT issues and there were time zone issues as well. The next thing that the team did was to collect the data on some of these axes and do data analysis i will show you that in mini tab friends you can buy my authored books on amazon my first book is eight steps to problem solving which talks about six sigma concepts and my second book is continuous improvement the lean way which talks about the lean concepts so this is the data that the team has captured in column c1t i have percentage of defects and no defects in column C2, I have associates. So that is the X that I'm going to test on my project Y, which is percentage. I also have other X's like input from sales representatives, change in the process and process documented as some of the X's on which the data has been collected. So let us test the first X, which is associate on the percentage. My Y is discrete in this case and my X is also discrete. So I will use chi-square test. Stat, tables, chi-square test for association. In rows, you will enter percentage. And in columns, you will enter associate and click OK. If you look at the p-value of this test, which is less than 0 0.05, which means that this X is significant. Now, if you look at this, associate 2 is supposed to make 7.2 errors, but it is making 11 errors. So associate 2 is the one who is making more errors than expected. So there is a need of training this associate. Next, we are going to check inputs from sales representatives, whether they were received correct or not correct inputs if i press ctrl e i will be able to reach to the previously used command in mini tab so i used ctrl e and chi square test for association is open in front of me under rows i will keep the percentage 
and under columns i will enter inputs from sales representatives and i will click ok here now let me look at the p value the p value of less than 0.05 states that this is also a significant x so if you go up and see when the input received from sales representatives are not correct nc means not correct we are making 11 defects and the expected value is 2.25 so which states that i have to receive correct inputs from sales representatives let's test the next x which is change in the process in columns enter change in process and click ok look at the p value which is greater than 0.05 in this case hence this x is not a significant x so i will not work on this particular x now let's test the last one which is process documented so let's enter process documented under columns and click ok if you look at the p value of this process which is less than 0.05 signifies that process documented is one of the significant x's where the process is not documented which is n the expected errors were 3.15 and we were making 9 so it means wherever there is no process documented available the number of errors goes up so we had to work on this particular x as well Let's understand how the team identified these solutions to these particular problems. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is 8 Steps to Problem Solving, which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts. So after the data analysis, the significant axes were identified. The first one is the associate 2, which was creating more defects team used yy approach to find the solutions to these significant x's so the first y was the person was new to the process why it was not trained properly that is why the person was making defects the solution to this problem is that the training of associate 2 is a must along with that they also identified that the ramp up plan is not defined properly for the new associates who joined the process. So they created the training and the ramp up plan for the people joining the process going forward. The next significant X is inputs from sales representatives. So that was also one of the significant X's. So why they were giving wrong inputs that they were also not aware of the process and why they were not properly trained. So the training of sales representatives on exceptional transaction was one of the solutions and this has been implemented by the team the next significant x was documented processes not available for all types of transactions why because they were not created when they were transitioned why it happened because it was a tight deadline while they were transitioning those processes so the solution to this is that they have to create documents for the processes where the documents are not created earlier so the second solution is that they need to create a robust transition plan that is how they are going to avoid this error in future mm -hmm. by implementing all these solutions in the system team was able to improve the process accuracy from 85 percent to 99.5 percent and hence was able to meet the goal thanks for watching i'll see you in my next upcoming video till then take care bye bye